Hey guys, today I have a super exciting Sephora haul. This big pop-up is from the VIP sale. I got a ton of stuff. I actually looked at my history and I hadn't bought anything in Sephora since the last sale since December. So I went through January, February, March and did not buy one single thing uh, from Sephora. I did buy a couple things from Ulta and online, but I actually hadn't bought anything from, from Sephora, which is stupid because now I, you know, what I would have bought in a few months, I went in one whole sitting. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, I have it down here, but I got the, I should have moved it from here. out but I got the Dyson um, air wrap so I'm super excited I was able to get it and I'm not gonna show it to you because it has 37 com components and, and do you guys know what it looks like it came in that case and then it also came with this uh, like little pouch or something where you can lay it down on it super cute so I was happy to to get my hands on that and with the discount it's been out of stock for forever and I'll add that it was my birthday um, in April, so, you know, I always go hard and I'm super grateful that my birthday lands on one of the weekends of the sale. So, let me keep on going. So, I purchased this Pat McGrath powder. I swatched it in the store and it looked really good. Um, that one is in the color yellow i love yellow powders and you stop buying them and then i bought the super goop i think these lights are a little blinding the super goop um glow screen i was supposed to get the one that didn't have tint in it but i accidentally grabbed the one that did but this is what it looks like just to, i mean it's a basic basic sunscreen bottle nothing to run home about the next thing I purchased, I opened some of these uh, to look like, but I got a Pat McGrath quad. I actually, the only Pat McGrath palette I have is the one that she came out for Christmas, like the $78 one, the Sublime that came with a bunch of colors. That's the only one I have. I don't have any of her like black nice packaging. So I bought a couple of those. This one is the, I don't even know the name. Celestial Divinity Floor Fantasia. And this is what it looks like. So super cute colors. So I got that one. And then I'm gonna start throwing away packaging because I kept that in there. And I bought another one. Okay, this one, it's called Divine Rose Luxe. So I got this one. I liked the big one, the Divine Rose, but I mean, a bunch of the colors in the in the like the first four colors are like brown so i'm like why am i going to spend all that money if i really want like the pinkish so then this is that one look how pretty that is so i'm super happy that i picked those two up and then i went a little crazy with charlotte tilbury i love charlotte tilbury i got a couple of her quads this one is called copper charge and don't know her packaging looks like this super cute it's ox blood and rose gold and this is what it looks like just very simple neutrals i got that one and then i got one called bigger eyes filter it comes like this i can't find the name on it you guys i'm sorry i have a lot of stuff so i'm trying to go fast and exaggerize and this one's more cool toned but it's still brown super cute again i don't have any of these i have the uh the bigger ones but i don't have any of her quads and then i also got a blush i love her blushes too pillow top is one of my favorites again i'm gonna throw the packaging on the basket i have under here and this is the color. I feel like it might be a little too dark, but I'm sure that color in the middle is going to diffuse it. So this one's called Walk of No. I pinch myself. Walk of No Shame. The next thing I got was the face palette by her. 
It is called Stoned Rose Beauty. And this one's a bigger one. So like this is what her quads look like. So it's like a big mama. And this one is super cool because it has a little bit of everything in it. So it has bronzer, highlight, blush, and eyeshadow. So you literally can try so you guys can get a good look. You literally can create a whole face with that. So I got that. I told you guys I went a little ham. The next thing I got, I already took this out. I have this in my shower. It's the kale and green tea face wash by these two the people i've been using this for about a week and i feel like my skin looks really good and i think that's it because i was getting a lot a lot of like little pimples and especially i mean i still have a couple but i was getting a lot in my chin area so it's super annoying and then the last i think this is the last charlotte tilbury item i have here is the this little sucker right here, it's called Darling, I think. The Darling look. And it's just a really pretty, like, mini, um, just mini rose neutrals. Super cute. I need to stop with the Charlotte Tilbury, though. I think I have, like, everything in their line. But I'm happy to be unboxing this because this has been in a bag for a week because I was waiting for other stuff to come in in the mail. The next thing I have is NARS came out with um, cream bronzers. This is in the shade Laguna. I'm really glad I picked this up because, because it's sold out and it looks like this. Um, I have the Chanel Tan de Soleil. Maybe on Instagram I'll post like a comparison. But it's essentially like that type of product, just a really creamy bronzer. And then next thing I picked up is the, this is a new brand. It's called Westman Atelier. Atelier. I can't with these fancy companies. And this is what it looks like. It's a cream blush. I feel like my lights are a little too bright. Okay. I dimmed them a little bit. See if it looks a little weird. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It just has the brand on it, and then it is magnetic, super nice. And then this is the blush. Look how pretty that is. I got the color Cochette. Super pretty. Just very neutral. That's what I like to go with. I don't really like super bright blushes. I don't think it looks good on me. I think I look kind of like clowny 80s. So I'm not a fan. Ooh, and then I got this. I got the new Dior powder. So pretty. Um, they actually didn't have any out, and I asked one of the uh, the girls, and they had one left in the bottom. But look how pretty this is. And this felt really nice. So that's what it looks like, and it has the Dior embossed on there. Super pretty. I try to hold back from buying too many face powders because I buy them, and I don't really use them because I have dry skin. Excuse me. So... I literally decluttered like five brand new powders. I bought the hourglass one, which supposedly is really good. And I don't think I've ever even used it. But anyway, speaking of hourglass, they came out with new blush sticks. So I picked one up and I got the color Loyal. It comes in the same packaging as the, I don't have it here, as the foundation. So it has like this. a little nudie so I got that I got a couple brow whizzes which I'm not going to take out because that's boring and then Sephora was having 30% off their products and I got a blush in English Rose um, it's packaged let me see if I can open it And this is what it looks like. These are the type of blush colors I like. It's just like these, like really neutral. So I pick that up. What else do I have here? Oh, I got the brow freeze that everyone's getting. I ordered it online before it sold out. It's just 
clear. Nothing special. I haven't tried this. I'm almost done. Oh, I got my little birthday gift. I picked the NARS gift. And then, what else do I have here? Okay. Almost done. I picked up the Good Apple. Um, this is a foundation. I tried it on store and I really liked it. I have super dry skin, so I hope it works. I was able to get it. I signed up for the notifications online and it came out during the sale, so I was able to pick it up and they shipped it over. And then I got the Cream Blush Tower Beauty in Magic Hour. That's what it looks like. I was gonna get a rare beauty one, but then a lot of people said that it didn't stay on their skin. Ooh, it's this one right here. So this is the, which one is this? This is the Westman Atelier, then this is the Hourglass, and then this is the Tower Beauty, which I think I like the Tower Beauty one the most. The Hourglass I think is a little dark, but it can work. And then I picked up this eyeliner. I was actually picking up another one, but this was in the wrong spot, and I ended up taking that one. But I do use these type of white eyeliners for the waterline, so I'm going to keep it. I don't think you can even find it online anymore, but that was a mistake. I wanted to get another one of his highliners. I got this green one as well. The one I thought I was getting was like a teal one. It was in the wrong. So I got this one. right here it's super pretty and then I forgot I got this I got a Kaja bento box I've never bought any of these um, I think they're super cheap and they have really pretty colors I got the color toasted caramel it looks like this and I really liked the tones obviously I like a good warm honey look how pretty that one is. It's like a, a sheer banana. So super cute. I got that. And then I got the new Kosas brow, air brow. It says it has treatment in it, which is cool because I have bushy brows, but I have a couple areas where it doesn't grow. And the bottle looks really cool. I loved the packaging on this. It's like iridescent butterfly. Super cute. I got it in the clear, but I know they make them in different shades. And then the last thing I got was this Inky List Beta Hydroxy Acid. It's supposed to be really good for blackheads. I get a lot of blackheads on my nose, so that's where I want to use it. It comes in this, this little bottle, and it's only 10 bucks. So, I also bought two colognes for my husband but they're already in his room i got him a big jumbo of the light blue and i got him a tom ford costa azure or something like that so with that being said i am done i will not be purchasing makeup for a minute and thank you for watching